my Nintendo Switch is almost here. Uh, it's getting delivered. It's six stops away. And I really wish I had time to beat Pokemon Moon before my Switch came, but it's not gonna happen. Okay, apparently this is the stuff, the goods. Okay, so I'm going to unbox and open my Switch in a little bit, but first, uh, apparently there's a raid going on in Pokemon Go. Luke is picking me and Sluby up, and we're gonna go check out what it is. And also, uh, hopefully, they uh, bring their DSs so I can trade all of my Pokemon over that need to be traded to evolve, and then I can quickly wrap up Pokemon Moon with my epic team, and then we can unbox this Switch. I'll probably do that before I finish Pokemon, but... Here comes Sluby! Hello, I'm back. Pokemon Go was good, by the way. Uh, if you were curious, we ended up finding a Alolan Raichu raid that we went to and beat it and caught it. And it wasn't that good, but that's okay. Still good time. Dropped a couple Pokemon off at some gyms. Uh, caught a Gligar finally, which I've been hoping to do. So it was a good time. I made all the necessary trades for my Pokemon Moon team. And anyway, so we got our goods here. Our supposedly Nintendo Switch and other things I ordered. Um, while I'm getting this all opened, I um, thought I'd explain because I saw, I've been saying how I uh, like recently quit my job and I'm finally like off after the two weeks and everything and I've been talking about it a little while before this too and uh, some people were curious, wanted to know the details so thought I would clarify, just uh, quench your curiosity while I get this going. Um, so. I didn't, like, leave for any, um... Oh, by the way, there's gonna be four different things here. There are the Switch and a couple of little accessories and doodads in a game. Um, so it was not like I didn't get fired. Uh, I didn't have to quit because of YouTube or anything like that. Actually, my boss, um, was aware of my YouTube, I think, uh... He was uh, shown a few videos and he really didn't care. Thought it was funny and all that. I think there's two different packages here and there's two things in each one. This, this is where the switch is gonna be. And then this is, this is gonna be some other stuff. So, uh, yeah, my, my boss is pretty chill about the whole YouTube thing. Didn't mind it, didn't affect work or anything like that. So the reason why I left was basically, uh, it like, it started getting kind of annoying what I was doing there. They were like training me for a thing that I didn't want to do and there wasn't really a reason for me to be doing it. And I didn't like it and that was kind of like the, the, the point at which I decided I needed to leave, which was on top of a bunch of other things like, that I already knew, like, it wasn't like, you know, paying enough for me to like move out and stuff, which I definitely have to do soon uh on top of i am turning 26 in less than a month now so like in i guess the end of the year by 2020 i'm gonna need health insurance and this job didn't really provide that all that kind of something but not entirely it's a weird needed to find a job where I make some more money, maybe one with benefits or something hopefully also maybe make some use of my degree i have a bachelor's degree from Ramapo College in um, music production, Bachelor of Arts or whatever it's called. Uh, so it'd be nice if I found something to make use of that since I'm paying it off anyway. So yeah, it's just like a whole bunch of things and that like I knew, but I was just like, okay, at least it's like an easy job. So uh, I can like keep it going for a while. 
But uh, then it, when it started like getting like annoying for me, oh, here we go. Here she is. Beautiful, such a tiny box too. Uh, okay, wrap up my story. Just a bunch of things that I like was aware of, but was like just dealing with because it was like a chill job. And then like when it started getting annoying, and like it's, it, <laughs> the thing they were training me for was like talking on the phones and stuff. And I, just, I don't know, I must have some kind of social anxiety or something because I'm just not about it. But so then I was like, all right, I need to just move on. If I quit. I've saved up some money thanks to YouTube and whatever else and just, I don't know, saving from there. So, uh, I, it's okay if I just like quit, I can coast for a little while if I have to, and it'll give me hopefully time and motivation to find some new stuff. And then in the meantime, be able to, uh, work on YouTube more so I can make a little bit more money there. So even if that doesn't end up paying the bills it'll at least uh keep me going while i find a good job so that's just everything there so i thought there was gonna be two things in this box but it was just a switch obviously no complaints there i just hit my guitar with the edge of that box but it's fine just hit a string uh so this is this is the boy right here i got it in gray Mainly because Luke is my only other friend that has a Switch, and he already got the red and blue. And I couldn't decide if I wanted to just get that one, but then I was like, let me just get the different one. My brother has the, like, Splatoon one, where it's, like, pink and green or whatever. So I was like, I'll get the, I'll get the dull gray one. It, I guess it goes along with all of my outfits just being black. So, here that is, basic... Switch, so then I guess the three other things will be in here. And there's, what is this big box? What is this? Oh, this is the case. I got a little case from Mumba. I was gonna get the official Nintendo, like, case, but I realized it, like, barely fits the actual thing itself and like doesn't fit, even fit like a charger or like any additional accessories so I went with the one that's like the same size but double as thick um and had good reviews seemed very sturdy got all this stuff on Amazon in fact I should post links underneath this in the description to all the stuff that I bought uh and then if you use my links and buy the stuff or anything from clicking on the link, uh, then I get a little bonus from Amazon because of the Amazon Associates thing. So this is just the Mumba uh, Switch case. It's like double as thick, I guess, than some of the other Switch cases, like the official Nintendo ones because there's like an extra little room to put some stuff in. I, I, at least that's what I think, that's what I saw. So I guess you slide the, uh, actually, yeah, I guess you slide the switch into here. And then this is a, to protect the screen, even though I got a screen protector, because apparently you need a screen protector for the switch, because the screen's made of plastic, so it scratches very easily, but at least it doesn't break as easily then. A uh, bunch of things to store game cartridges or uh, storage SD cards, I guess. Lots of room here to, uh... Ooh, what's that little snag in there? Oh, oh it's just just a th like a loose thread that wasn't attached to anything. It was just like an extra thread that must have gotten caught up in the thing. Mostly water resistant, like this is all like rubberized and whatever else, so I guess water could get in through the the zipper if it really tried, but one something that I could bring it around with, you know? And then this is, oh, the uh, screen protector. Glass, two pack. This was, I think like one of the highest rated on Amazon. I think it, what the review said was that it was easy to put it on. Like they like, I guess it comes with little guides to help you put it on. And it was the most convenient one because I've seen other screen protectors on Amazon. And you like this comes with two. I've seen one that come with three, but it like wasn't 
rated as well because they're like harder to put on or something. I don't know. I guess we'll see, but there you go. And then finally, of course I had to get a game because apparently it doesn't come with a game and you knew I was going to get Zelda Breath of the Wild. Cannot wait for this. It's a very um, acclaimed game. Uh, everyone's loving it apparently. I played a little bit of it on my brother's Switch, but now it's it's my own, so can't wait for that. Pop this bad boy open. Ooh, oh. Oh. Oh my god, what presentation. Wow. I like how it's like a nice, tiny, chill thing. There's no like, oh, hold on, let me get in here and pull this thing out. Oh my god, what what presentation. It's very light. Very light. I don't want to drop anything. My gray, dull Joy-Cons. We be ready to play. I actually haven't really used the Joy-Cons out like off of the console really. I've only played the only switch that I've played is just like a little bit like in, in the car where it's just like all like that, so. It feels pretty good on its own. I feel like you can just like sit here and like just like totally just play like that on your TV, just like not even lift your hands if you don't want to. And then I think it comes with a thing to clasp them together, right? Let's pop this off. We pop it off. Uh, we got, oh, the little, things that you attach to it if you're gonna if you're gonna ride solo like how you can play the thing like this on some games you can like attach that and it's got bigger shoulder buttons and whatnot so that's cool we got oh this is the to put the uh joy cons in and it's like a controller very handy little thing they decided to do here. Thank you, Nintendo. Very innovative. Here, I'm assuming, is the dock for you to dock it, charge it, play it on your TV. Since it is the Switch, it switches between handheld and home console. Simple little thing right here, just slides right in apparently, although I've heard that the plastic screen is like so fragile that, uh, even sliding it in and out of the dock like scratches the sides of the screen. So definitely first thing I want to do is get that screen protector on. Hopefully it doesn't give me too much difficulty. But yeah, HDMI, some USB ports, and nice. There we go. Cool. Very cool, Nintendo. Thank you. Then just HDMI cable and power. AC. Oh no, not a, uh, it's um yeah. To uh, USB C, USB C. I'm glad that they went with USB C, the 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 latest and uh, greatest of the connections there are. I don't have anything. This is my first USB th C thing. Isn't that weird? iPhone doesn't use it yet. Uh, and I just, I don't know, I've got like an old Xbox One controller that's not rechargeable on its own. Well, actually I have a rechargeable in there, but it uses micro USB, which sucks. I hate it. Uh, shout out to everyone who also hates micro USB, you know what I mean? So I've been rambling long enough. Let me get all this situated and, uh... And we'll see, maybe I'll show you me trying to put the screen protector on. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I really don't wanna mess it up. Uh, if I get quiet, it's because I'm I'm focusing. So it says, where's the instructions? First thing, clean screen with the wipes. We got a wet and dry wipe. I guess step one is the wet, step two is the dry. I don't know if it even really needs it since it's fresh 
out of the thing, but I guess I can do it anyway. Hopefully I, I don't regret this part. Okay, wet. Done. Dry. This needs to be friggin' sterile. Sterile environment. Okay, not a speck. Okay. Then take this. It says peel off step one. Don't touch the adhesive part. Grab it by the tabs. I think I did a shit job, but I suppose we'll see. We gotta get these bubbles out real quick. Oh god, where's the instructions? Where's the instructions? What happened to the instructions? Here they are. Okay, put it on, align it, in place, lightly press the center of the screen, and just slide your fingertip across the screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let the gentle bubbles out. And then I'm going to go in with this thing real quick and slide out the, the tougher ones, I guess. Oh, I see one speck, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just under this thing. Yeah, it was just under that thing. Oh, perfect. I mean, it's not per... I mean, like, there's definitely not anything underneath. But... Like, some of the corners could be a little better, but they're all on there. That's what's important. I think I did a pretty good job. At, l at least there's no dust. You know, that's pretty, that's pretty perfect. That would be awful if there was, like, a bubble left from a speck of something, a little hair or anything. But, wow, that's good. That's nice. Very happy about that. Okay, that's all set. One more thing is that Luke was telling me how satisfying it is to have the thing turned on for the first time. So I thought, let me uh, try to capture that experience. I got the tripod balancing on my lap right now, so hopefully I don't move too much and cause too much noise. But uh, hopefully this is a nice, wholesome experience for everyone. Maybe it'll trigger your ASMR or whatever that means, but uh gonna insert these Joy-Cons for the first time and see if it turns on. Oh, that's a good click. Nice. Power. Oh, hi, how's it going? Ooh, it vibrated. Wow. Sure. The buttons feel good. The touch screen's nice. Okay, so I guess I'll finish the setup on my own. Very exciting. Can't wait to get started on this. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Maybe you're a Switch player and uh, reliving that moment was something nice for you. Anyway, thanks for checking out this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to smash like, subscribe, whatever else you gotta do. Uh, follow on Twitter and Instagram at Willow Davis Rocks, and I'll see you next time. Willow Davis, out.